Hello everyone and welcome to Thrive Labs, the best place to learn everything about technical analysis and the financial markets. And as per usual, I'm going to give you an update and a few insights on the Bitcoin price action. Leave a like and subscribe so that we can get straight into it. And also, if you do hit that notification bell, it just helps me out a lot by pushing out this information so that more people are going to get this update in a timely manner as this is sensitive. Therefore, you need to subscribe and like this video uh, and I would be forever grateful. Let's just dive straight into it, starting with Bitcoin. And I'm going to be answering the question in this video exactly what am I looking at? Are we still bullish at the moment? Um, are we going to be seeing a retracement as we reach that overextended area and period on the Bitcoin price action? And where can we start to look for that rejection or retracement to come into place? Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to this video, let's dive into it. In front of me, I have the weekly chart on Bitcoin and I just wanted to bring it to your attention that we have seen the highest weekly candle close ever in the history of Bitcoin. That is truly, truly amazing, closing the weekly candle of, um, of the first week of March right on top of an older all-time high and now currently trading to about $2,000 above, right? Give or take. Um, so that is very, very, very special. And we are literally now in price discovery. So that also means that we don't have that much levels above us that we can measure out from uh, as to where price might obviously go. I have done a super cycle video on measure where I actually use Elliott wave techniques to measure out higher targets. But... Um, at the moment, we're very far away from that and it doesn't make sense to me to cover that right now. But what is important to um, take into account is that overall we remain in bullish market structure, right? As we essentially from that $50,000 area, we have maintained a structure of putting in repeatedly higher highs and higher lows, maintaining that bullish market structure. Arguably, you could say that this particular piece of price action is starting to look a little bit um, strong still, but overextended, as it would make sense for us to put in a little bit of a longer consolidation area that looks a bit similar to something along the lines of maybe this or something along the lines of maybe this in order for that trend to be sustained. Now, this doesn't mean... Uh, you should start looking for shorts because we are simply at all-time highs, right? So let me narrow things down and walk you through the, the specific pieces of price action. But before I do, I want to give a real quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, Deribit. Deribit is a great exchange. They're the leading crypto options exchange and a massive shout out to you guys. And thank you for sponsoring this video. And uh, yeah, check this out. It's a great platform. And uh, thank you guys. So let's continue with the analysis. Uh, over here we have uh, we have the local piece of uh, price action <laughs> of Bitcoin, right? Um, and it could arguably be a little bit more corrective. So from what moment on can we start looking for that retracement to come in? I think that is the key question that we want answered. And that is what I'm going to show you right now. Now, so if we analyze that local price action, obviously after the first attempt of all-time high, we have seen a really massive retracement of 15% to the downside, all the way from $69,000 back to $58,000 in just a matter of a few hours before V-shape recovering upwards, uh, re-establishing that bullish market structure, right? Bam, 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 bam. And now breaking up to new all-time highs. So this is where I'm going to even zoom in further into the price action as we are looking at the Monday opening session that we have seen yesterday where we literally started off the day with a, with a major pump um, on Bitcoin of almost 
10% as we are, uh, you know, tuning in, putting in the low on Sunday, uh, opening up on Monday and just pumping straight out of it to new all-time highs where we are currently ranging. So why here and why are we stabilizing above this section? Why aren't we backtesting any of these levels prior to that? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is where I have my special channel coming in where I connect the lows of these wicks, boom, boom, where I'm classing this as an anomaly, connecting it to this low, and that gives us some structure. And this also directly answers the question, does technical analysis at all-time highs still works? Yes, if you know what you're doing, and if you have the right knowledge that you can learn on our website, thrivelabs.io, you can learn all of this and more in courses, in a live community, where we also cover this, um, live as the price is progressing so that you can take profitable trades. Um, that is where you can learn that. But um, this is how this channel is constructed. And as we can see, we are here trading at all-time highs and the levels are extremely well respected. So how can we use this? So simply put, we've broken out of this channel, right? And we have been starting to form this kind of like this rounded structure where we are now transitioning more into a sideways pattern. And as you can see, this technical level holds up extremely well with a triple backtest up till now holding this as support, right? So that means that from now on, um, the most recent price action has validated this upwards sloping diagonal line from the channel, from our technical analysis, has now confirmed relevance because it is holding up as support. Now that gives us some extra information that we can use to progress onwards and validate the strength or weakness of the chart. Because if or as long as we stay above and outside of this channel, higher prices simply are likely, where simply the sky is no limit. There is not simply not so much technical levels above us, and we're simply going to have to wait and see until we see some price action developing so that we can continue to do technical analysis just in the exact same way as I'm doing right now, right? However, if we start actually getting back into this channel and backtest it successfully as resistance, right? That would be a great moment to start um, looking for a deeper retracement as we now have a level that was previously tested successfully as support and gave a technical reaction and gave a bounce. Now, suddenly it is now losing the level and backtesting it as resistance. And that would be the moment where we can start looking maybe for a larger retracement, such as to $70,000 for example, where if we just simply mark that out, still leaving behind or a classing ruling out this wick over here as an anomaly on the chart, right? We are we are touching upon that seventy thousand dollar level, and what you can see if we start actually getting back into this channel, we have that perfect pinpoint accuracy confluence right at $70,000. And that is where we can start to look for yet another technical level, um, uh, a technical reaction, my apologies, so that we can start judging like, okay, is this the place where support can actually come in so that we can start that bounce and maybe progress upwards upon reclaiming uh, the same kind of technical levels as we have now already established. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is literally how technical analysis can give you the confidence to trade the markets based on facts rather than what you think is going to happen or what you want to happen. If you want to learn, then you can join our community where you can learn from me in person directly. I am active every single day in the Discord channel, guiding people through understanding the markets just in the same way as I have clearly explained just right now in this video. This is what we do every day. This is my main profession. And now I'm ready to teach this to you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching and simply see you in the next video. Uh, other than the last summary, essentially what I'm saying here in this video by showing and proving this to you visually the technical analysis works. Final words here, 
I expect higher prices on Bitcoin until we lose resistance, where we can start looking for a retracement to at least $70,000, where we have to assess the market strength once more based on similar technical analysis that we have to do there. We have to see what data is going to come in from there. We have to judge the strength of the price action. We have to judge the order flow. We have to see if people are buying and selling aggressively at those levels and if a bounce is likely. If that is not the case, we simply move down just another level so that we can judge, do the exact and repeat the exact same process at another level where we do have that technical confluence. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Have a great day and see you in the next video or in the tribe.